Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Communications Minister Faith Mutambi, who has the responsibility of driving South Africa's long-awaited digital migration process, has announced that a digital switch-on date would be set in due course. Natasha Odendal joins me in studio to shed some light on the situation. Hi Natasha. What has led to the delay of the digital migration and what is the deadline that has been set? Well, several things actually. Right from the beginning when we started this process six years ago, um, policy clarity, um, regulations uh, through to industry participation and the tasking of certain responsibilities has all re led to this delay now. Um, and now at the moment we have less than, well, probably less than seven months to actually get in order and actually get this digital migration off the ground because come June the ITU is actually going to switch off its or lift its protection and it's going to leave South Africa open to a lot of disruptions in the broadcasting field. Now the new minister has been recently tasked with actually deploying the migration and getting it going now and she has promised an intense process of heightened activity and that a new date for the actual digital switch on will be set in due course. And she's promising that South Africa should watch the space because things are going to happen now, or at least that's the indication. And the project has been accelerated, as you've said, but there are still issues that remain. Could you highlight these for us, please? Well, the biggest issue at the moment is the control, conditional control access for the set-top boxes. Um, these decoders are needed to actually transmit the broadcasting signals um, onto the, on the digital platform. And it's been probably the biggest problem so far because it halted everything in 2012 when broadcasters decided to actually take on the former Department of Communications and um, to try and get them to stop the appointment of Centec to control the conditional access on these boxes. Um, after that was all cleared up, um, the court, the High Court at that time, had ordered everybody into you know, industry talks to try and resolve the matter. Um, and then it emerged there after that there was actually a big split between who wanted the control um, on the boxes and who didn't. And it's led to further court cases. But when Minister Karim had come in, he had actually announced or he'd proposed to Cabinet who agreed that there should actually be control access on the boxes that were subsidised by government. And that all other broadcasters could then decide whether they wanted to or not. And it seemed that there was that we were heading for some sort of resolution on this. And then when President Jacob Zuma then split the department um, earlier this year into two, it left the whole migration process in limbo once again. Um, and now, obviously this, in this month, it's obviously emerged that Mutambi would run it out. Um, she's now announced that after much consultations with industry stakeholders, she sees that there is still a huge problem with the control on the box um, and that she is actually now milling the process and will uh, take it to cabinet before the end of the year. And how does she intend to resolve the set-up box standoff? Well there's no clear indication of how she's actually going about it. Um, her message last week just seemed to be that she's in talks, she's discussing it with industry which is the furthest we've gotten so far um, this year with the whole uh, migration process and that she's going to mull together, you know, decide from there what is actually to be done with it. Um, but as to how she's going to go about it and what her decision will actually be in the long term, nobody really knows. We will have to wait until the end of the year and see what she presents to Cabinet. Thanks, Natasha. That is the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.